What's going on everybody? Just James West here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to go over an awesome arm workout and also comment below what two muscles you like to pair up. For me, I really love doing chest and tries, so if you guys like doing chest tries, back thighs, whatever you want, just comment down below what muscles you like to pair up, maybe what muscles you don't like to pair up. Let me know down below because I'm trying to get to know you guys a little bit more and uh, cater some videos towards that. So. Once we get this arm workout in, it's going to be great, uh, it's going to be a big pump, I'm probably going to do some, a little bit of shoulders and then mostly just buys and tries, you know. So we're going to keep it nice and quick and I'll show you guys some highlights and let's go. Alright guys, today I'm going to be coming at you with a commentary, you know I haven't done one of these in a really long time actually, I think it's been like a few months, maybe like half a year, but just enjoy this, sit back, enjoy the routine up on the screen and to make sure you guys try it out. Uh, this is a really good arm day, I was extremely sore the next day, like my triceps were way more sore than, I've, than they have been in a really long time, so definitely try this out, it's a great workout. And today's topic is going to be just not overworking yourself, and as well as that I'm going to go into my new training regimen and, and how I'm working out a little bit extra, but not too much so I don't overtrain myself as I am a Division 1 lacrosse player. So with Division 1 lacrosse there's a lot of practice, a lot of lifting, a lot of film, and a a lot of schoolwork, obviously because you are a student athlete so we're gonna start off with the mental aspect of things and why you shouldn't overtrain yourself because if you're overtraining yourself you're just not gonna be okay mentally I mean if you can handle it kudos to you then just do whatever you can do as much as possible if you can handle it but honestly I'll be honest with you guys I cannot handle working out on my own every single day not only because it tires me out too much for lacrosse but it also just tires me out mentally and I just cannot handle those type of things um, I just, it's just too much. It's, it's unnecessary actually to be like adding in so much extra work to your plate. There's a difference with working out enough and working out too much and finding the happy medium. When you have a lot of priorities, you got to find the happy medium and you can't just do exactly what you want to do or ideally want it to do because it does not work and it was not going to last in the long run because this is a marathon and it's not a sprint. You know, I'm not really good at, I should really be taking my advice because I did have a week this month in September where it was really tough mentally just because I was way overworked. I was exhausted. It was just way too much going on so I, what I did is I toned it back a little bit I only work out on my own just a little bit extra on Tuesday Thursdays and Saturdays and judging on how the week goes I can add in um, after a lift with a team and then I'll take away from a day on my own that way I have a nice uh, longer rest day or something like that so pretty much the whole moral story here is that you have to be able to be okay with change uh, change is inevitable and I like to say that so like it's gonna happen and you have to be able to work around it and you gotta be fluid with it So you can't you can't be stubborn about things You can't be like you know what? I'm still gonna go to the gym every single day because that's just not gonna It's not gonna help you in the long run on the field or honestly in your head So a big thing with this is just being able to be stable and that's all from the mental aspects And then being physically stable as well is really important because if you're overworking yourself You're not gonna do well on the field You're probably gonna get injured and you, those are two things that you want to avoid as you are a student an athlete or if you are not an athlete then do whatever you want but for those of you that are athletes out there you got to put your sport first even if you want to go and get more lifts in you have to put your foot you have to put your sport first you have no choice it's your job it's what you do so to recap all of this is just to not overwork yourself because mentally it's gonna take a toll on your life as it did to me and I'm doing a ton I'm doing so much better I have focused on sleep recovery nutrition so much more I've learned so much more about my body and honestly I'm really happy that I experienced that week because it showed me what I really have to focus on and really have to do to adjust to the Division 1 level of lacrosse and workouts. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below and leave a comment if this helps you guys at all because I wanted just to share my experience of getting overworked and overwhelmed and just try to help you guys out a little bit. Make sure you guys are still pushing yourself and working really hard because obviously you shouldn't just take the easy way out but make sure you guys are aware of overworking yourself and doing too much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. All right, I'm off to find my water bottle that I leave literally everywhere. Uh, it's a really nice one, it has my name on it. I got it for my senior year of lacrosse. So let's really hope that I find this thing because I need it really bad.